Hi guys, this is Miss Kent. Welcome back to another video. And today I thought I would take you along with me while I plan for a remediation lesson. Yesterday in my co-teaching video, and if you didn't get a chance to see that, please go back and check out day seven Vlogmas co-teaching at its best. Um, me and Miss White discussed that we would um, remediate the students according to the categories on the state of Virginia's Algebra 1 test. And so the test is divided into three sections. A1 through A3 covers translation, evaluation, um, polynomials, and radicals. And so we picked out a few questions that we wanted to go over with the students. And this particular clip, you will be seeing me teach polynomials. Now the lesson was taught previously, so this is a remediation lesson. The students were asked to work the problems at home prior to class, but of course they were still struggling with this particular question. And so what we did was set up an opportunity for them to work the problem with us. This form that you see me filling out is a remediation um, form that I developed in my personal planner that I'm creating hopefully to launch next school year. I am beta testing this um, planner and I've given it to one or two teachers that they have tested it out. If you would like a copy, please subscribe to my channel and I'll be happy to send you a link. All right, and so what I'm doing is filling out the lesson, the date the lesson was reviewed, what the students will accomplish during this lesson, what vocabulary they need to know, and also the activity that we were doing, which is basically going over a homework problem. But what I like to do is go through these things with the students and also keep record of what I've remediated them on. Also, when I'm looking at the test that I'm going to give them or the little assessment on 11 questions, I want to look at who was attendance in the class, what they were doing and how they did on the assessment. Okay guys, we're about to take a look at the clip of me teaching or reteaching this particular problem. Afterwards, I'll come by and show you what I do after I've gone over the question. One of the most important things to do is to give the students immediate feedback. And what you'll find if you walk around the classroom is that a lot of the students haven't even written down what you said in class. So I'm going to provide a form at the end to show you how I check off who's working and who's not working so that I can go ahead and make my next steps. All right, drop a comment below what you think about this video, and I'll be back to close out in a minute. Which question deals with perimeter on the page? Okay, now the question was proposed. What do we need to know to do perimeter? Going once. Huh? Length and width. All right, and we plug that into a what? What is it called? We plug that into a what? Formula. Do we know the perimeter formula? Okay, I love it. Write it down. P equals 2L plus 2W. Okay. What are we going to plug in for L? Okay. And what are we going to plug in for W? Good. And now what are we going to do? Multiply. So 2 times 3x. 6x. 2 times 2. Plus 4. All right. 2 times x. And 2 times se negative 7. That's what we need to make sure that we um, understand. Negative, mm, negative 14. All right, let's combine like terms. What are my like terms? 6x and what? Okay, and what are my other like terms? 4 and negative 14. All right, get your answer. I'm coming around to check. Let's go. Let me know when you combine your like terms. If you're not writing with me, you're behind. You all right, guys, the last step is for me to walk around the room and check off the first problem that I went over for remediation. As you can see, you pick out 10 problems that you want to go over, and then you can look at the data after class. That's it. Have a great day and see you in the next one.